So in the last lesson, we finished on a beat. It went a little bit like this. Went 1 E and uh, 2 E and uh, 3 E and uh, 4 E and uh. So I like to break some these beats up into sections. So you can think about it. The first is 4, then a 3, then a 3, then a 2, and then a 4. So you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Another way you can do the same thing is by using Indian rhythms. So I used this in an earlier lesson without talking too much about it. So in the Indian rhythms, a group of two would be taka, um, three would be takita, and four would be takadimi. So you can use those syllables to help you with your rhythms. So this one would be takadimi, takita, takita, taka, takadimi. Taka dimi takita takita taka taka dimi. Um, so you can use this system, either the numbers or the Indian syllables, to help you with learning rhythms and also help you making up new rhythms that might be a bit unusual. So let's say we can go four, three, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So let's try that in the Indian version now. So taka dimi takita taka takita taka dimi. So I really enjoy playing with that sort of stuff. That's obviously a fairly subtle change, so you can do something crazier now. So let's try five, two, three, three, three. And that all adds up to 16 again. So there's still cycles of 16, just split up into different ways. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So and you can see you can choose the kick or the snare on it, any of them, doesn't really matter. Um, but you can see that at the start of each those sections we hit the kicker or the snare um, and just hi-hat on every single beat. Um, so that same one in Indian rhythms. Now five in Indian rhythms is Tarin Gino Tom. So let's try that. Tarin Gino Tom Taka Takita 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 Tarin Gino Tom Taka Takita 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 Tarin Gino Tom Taka Takita 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 um, And it's fun to cycle between different um, kick and snare combinations. So it's all been 16 so far. We can do, say, a cycle of eight. Let's do three, two, three. So takita, taka, takita, takita, taka, takita, takita, taka, takita. So again, you can play with the kick and the snare as much as you want. Um, so eight's pretty simple as well. Now you can try unusual numbers, so like, say, like 13. So 13, we could do a three, two, Three, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Takita, taka, takita, taka, takita, takita, taka, takita, takita, taka. So, and you can play with all those different combinations, right? And 13 might seem weird at first, but once you've repeated it enough times, it can seem really normal. So, a really good way to train your brain as to what is normal in music and what is unusual um, you can completely change your perspective and they start to feel really natural to even do odd numbers cycles cool that's all for this one thanks for watching see you in the next one